Step number one, I want you to write down every single service that your business provides in your local area right now. And like, I literally mean like every individual service. And the reason that we're doing this is for these next couple of steps, it's going to be super important, right? So we can actually have clarity on what we're trying to do here. So let's go ahead and move on to step number two. All right. So hopefully you knocked out step number one, because it was a reason that I wanted you to write down all of those services. So what we're going to do with those services is we're going to put those services in a key a research tool and we're going to find out what the demand is for those services, not on a national level, but on a local level. And this tool right here allows us to do it. All right. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. And by the way, Google Keyword Planner is a free tool. All you got to do is just sign up, go type Google Keyword Planner on Google, go to their site, use your Gmail to sign up. They might have you actually go through and set up an ad, but all you got to do is just stop the ad right after that. And then once the ad is stopped, then you can actually get access to the keyword tool. All right. All right. So when you come in here, all you're going to do is you're going to come over here to where it says tools. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to come up here to where it says Google keyword planner. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to click right here to where it says discover new keywords. Then when this pops up, what we want to do is we want to put those services in there and put a comma after each service. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in the services and the service I'm going to roll with today. I'm going to act like I'm a lawn care business. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and remove one of these and then I'm going to hit get results. Okay. So now what we're going to be looking at now is on a national level, we're going to look at the results or the demand for those services, right? But obviously we're doing local SEO. So we need to separate that and make it more local. So in order to do that, and before we do that, let me actually move me out of the way because I really want you to see this and I'm going to go ahead and hit X on this. All right. So now let's look at these from a national level. So when it comes to mowing, you can see right here, it says 1,000 to 10,000 searches a month, uh, lawn fertilization is 10,000 to 100,000. Weed control is 1,000 to 10,000 and so on and so on for all of the services that I put in there. But we want to set it to a local level. So how do we do that? So you see this right here that say United States. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to then come in here and hit this X and then I'm going to type in the exact location that I'm trying to target so I can get the demand in that area. So let's say for instance, I got, um, I'm trying to target Atlanta. What I would do is I would put target and then I would hit save. All right. So now when I do this for Atlanta, it's not saying, showing me those same bigger numbers that we was looking at on a national level. It's going to be smaller numbers. But depending on, you know, how much you're earning per customer, this this could be, you know, extremely beneficial for you. All right. So now let's look at this. So for mowing in Atlanta, it says 10 to 100 searches per month. For lawn fertilization, 10 to 100 searches per month. And then for this one, lawn aeration, I don't really know exactly what that is, but lawn aeration, it's 100 to 1,000 searches per month in that area. All right. So imagine if a business owner overstood what I was breaking down here in this video, and then they start to leverage this and then they start to get more traffic to their business. And especially for those businesses out there that have like a high CPC and they're paying a lot for advertising, leveraging something like this could be very, very beneficial. Okay. All right. So now that we got it at a local level, what we want to do is we want to go through here and we want to look at the main ones that we put in there, but we also want to look for ones that we didn't see and some services is that we know that we provide, but we just didn't put them down in the beginning. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to move on to step number three. All right. So now with step number three, what we're doing is we're going deeper into the research. All right. So what I did is I took one of the services that I put inside of this, the uh, keyword research tool, the Google keyword planner. And now I'm going to put that inside of Google so we can do our own manual research. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put side installation. All right. So that was one of the services. So if I hit space, you can see right here, it has local intent because it says side installation near me, side installation, Augusta, Georgia, and et cetera. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on side installation, Augusta, Georgia. And immediately we see these right here, which are ads pop up. And we know that, you know, there's a local intent automatically. So if we go down, we see another ad, another ad right here. And then this right here is actually called the three pack, right? If you rank up here, nine times out of 10, you probably get a good amount of traction or a good amount of phone calls, right? Which is cool. But one thing that I know just, you know, just being on earth for a very long time and, you know, dealing with Google is that people don't always buy or call the first business that they see, right? Yes, that happens majority of the time, but also they like to look down a little bit sometimes, all right? So now what we're trying to do is we're trying to position videos to show up in this area right here. That's that's what we're trying to do, right? Which is still good because where's the 
the world really going, right? Most people are watching videos, right? So either short form, long form, whatever it is, a video is really going to intrigue people. So now when they go down, we want to position our video here. Now, another little tip I give you is that you could do videos that specifically, you know, are targeting the product or service or whatever, but you also want to incorporate some educational videos as well. So for example, what I like to do is I go right here to where it say people also ask, and then I'll look at some of these questions questions right here. And then you could put together like a short form video that answers one of those questions. And now you educating them. So it's not just a straight up sale, right? So that's, that's very, very important. Right. And I call that brand building value content. Honestly, that's one of the most important things when it comes to a business nowadays. All right. So now we're going to move on to step number four, which I believe is the, the way that you're going to even be able to make it happen in the first place. All right. So now with this next step, we're going to go through the optimization process. So in regards to like your top title, your description, your tags, and your hashtags, because it's a couple different things you got to do when it comes to local SEO, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So right here, you can see it say step one, title of your video. That's very, very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to put the service in front, we're going to put the city, and we're going to put the state. That's what your title going to be. So for example, side installation, Atlanta, Georgia. Side installation, Atlanta, GA, right? Because sometimes people type GA, and you want to be positioned for that stuff. Very, very simple. So whatever your service is, is just go ahead and put the city and the state all right so now step number two we're doing this for a business right so we need some type of call to action we need to have that in the description so i gave you an example of how you could do it you don't got to do it exactly like that but if you're looking to get phone calls put your phone number right there if you're looking to have people go to your website and you know become a lead on your website however you want to do that put that call to action on the third line so usually i like to put the title on the first line inside of the description then two lines below that i'll put the link in the description same way i do on this channel all right so now let's go to step number three when it comes to an optimized description i'm gonna make this real simple for you all you got to do is go to chat gpt and take the keyword which was service plus city plus state and tell chat gpt to write an optimized youtube description using that keyword and you're gonna be good to go right that part shouldn't take you no time at all all right so now next thing step number four you want to add what we call a nap so all a nap is is the name of the business, the address of the business, and the phone number for the business, okay? And you're doing this for local purposes, right? This pretty much acts as a local citation, all right? So an example of that would be right here where it say Fictitious Hair Salon LLC. So that's the name of your business. You put the address of your business and the phone number of your business. And keep in mind, all of this is going inside of your YouTube description, okay? And then we go to the next step, which is the hashtag. So all you're doing with this is you're using location-based hashtags based on a location you targeting and then also the service hashtags so you can see what I did here Atlanta Georgia is what I'm targeting the shortened version is a hashtag side that's what I'm talking about landscaping that's what it falls in lawn and grass right so these are all related to what it is that I'm talking about and that's so so important when you're trying to do something like this now the next thing which most people don't even know that this actually exists and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do so what you want to do is you want to go into your YouTube studio once you actually uploaded the video it's a setting that you need to do also on top of everything that I just showed you so what you want to do is you want to go down here and how I got here is I went to video details and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going all the way down here and you're gonna see um, this section that has location. All right, so right here where it say recording date and location, we want to come right here to where it say video location. Now, if I was targeting Atlanta, right, I'm, I'm trying to tell YouTube I want to associate with this location, right? So in our case, we was using Atlanta. So I'm going to type Atlanta, and you can see these right here are tied to Google Maps. This is why this is so powerful, and everything that I've shared with you here in this video, and how you can literally increase your visibility based on the area that you're in. So if I click Atlanta, Georgia. Now the video location for this is Atlanta, Georgia. So now when you put everything together, this is what's going to start to bring you up if you consistently do this. Because one thing I don't want you to do is I don't want you to be the person that does something one time and then they feel like, oh, it doesn't really work. No, keep doing this consistently and based on the products or services that you provide and continue to help people get an answer to their question, doing the brand building value content. And now you're going to boost up your visibility and you're also going to 
build out that local presence that you're really looking for. So hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want me to set up something like this for you and your business, I'll leave a link down below in the description. That link will allow you to book a call with me. We'll have a discussion and then we'll go from there and I can see how I can help you. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.